Welcome to yourfaculty.com, a premier test preparation portal for GRE, CAT and bank exams. Today we are going to deal with time, speed and distance. Okay. Let's try to understand what this concept deals with. So I think uh, you know these standard terms time, speed and distance. You would have come across in your classes and 6th standard, 7th standard about this. Just to give a basic idea, if you are riding a bike, what do you see in it? You see kilometer per hour or miles per hour. So what does this mean? It just means that speed is equal to distance which is shown in kilometer here by time which is shown in hours which is then represented as kilometer per hour so it is very easy for you to remember it is a simple formula speed is equal to distance by time now that is what I have represented here which I have put it as s is equal to d by t now what does this mean this means that you can cross multiply and finally say that d distance is equal to speed into time and vice versa so again time is equal to distance by speed so i hope it's very clear now what does this all mean for us to do our problems in a, in a quick pace we need to understand certain concepts so from this formula of speed is equal to distance by time what will happen if distance increases and time remains constant if distance increases and you have to reach the same place in the same in the, in the, in the given time the, con, the constant time your speed has to increase let's try to understand let's say you travel 10 kilometers in one hour and now you are asked to travel 20 kilometers in one hour how will you travel you have to increase the speed of your drive so which means earlier you had to travel at 10 kilometer per hour and now you have to travel at 20 kilometer per hour I like explain it again there's a let's assume that there's a point a and b it's a, it's away by 10 kilometer and uh, you generally traveled at one hour now if you have to travel the same distance in the same given time 20 kilometers if it has just one hour what is the speed 10 kilometer per hour now if you have to travel 20 kilometer your speed has to be 20 kilometer per hour right so it's pretty simple so I, I hope you understand this all this leads to just a simple point it just means that speed is directly proportional to distance which means if distance increases speed increases for you also to remember this it is very simple the numerators when they are go when they increase the other one on the numerator will also increase now speed will decrease when time increases is that clear speed will decrease when the time increases because they are inversely proportional so that's what we are represented here you can apply the same concept across now if it is uh, distance with respect to time if distance increases time also increases and they are directly proportional so same applies distance is directly proportional to speed as well so i hope you understand this we will apply these concepts in our problems that we move forward so I'll move on to the next uh, to our first problem now if Ram walks at the rate of 
फाइव किलोमीटर पर आर ही मिसेस ए बस बाय सेवन मिनट्स इफ ही वॉक्स एट द रेट ऑफ सिक्स किलोमीटर पर आर ही रीचेस द रीचेस फाइव मिनट्स अर्ली फाइन द डिस्टेंस ट्रैवल टू कैच द बस सो व्हाट आर द की पॉइंट्स या ही मिसेस द बस बाय सेवन मिनट्स एंड ही एंड एट सिक्स किलोमीटर पर आर ही रीचेस फाइव मिनट्स अर्ली राइट नाउ how do you start the problem let's say that let the distance be x so that's what you have to calculate let the distance be x now if let's say he has to catch the bus at 9 am right so if he walks at the rate of 5 km per hour okay he misses the bus by 7 minutes so he reaches the bus stop only at 9 7 am and if he walks at 6 km per hour he reaches 5 minutes early which is 8:55 am so to solve this problem the key is to understand the difference in the time and what is the difference here the difference here is 12 minutes right so we know that the difference between the two speeds in terms of minutes is difference in time is basically 12 minutes now the problem is in front of your eyes so we know that distance by speed Minus distance by speed is equal to twelve minutes. What what are we trying to say here? If he travels at five kilometer per hour and travels at x distance versus he travels at six kilometer per hour at x distance, the difference is twelve minutes. Any doubts here? If you have any doubts, you can always send us a mail at info at your faculty dot com. This will actually solve the problem. it i what i'm trying to do here here is basically arriving at the time you know that distance by speed is equal to time so this is the time taken to travel at 5 km per hour this is the time taken to travel at 6 km per hour so the difference of this is 12 minutes and finally if you solve it what do you get it's pretty simple you get as x by 30 is equal to 12 by 60 why am i converting it to 60 because it has to be converted to hours 5 and 6 are in kilometer per hour so this has to be converted to hours so sorry it's x by 30 so what do you get you get x is equal to 6 so what is that the distance travel to catch the bus is 6 km I hope you understood this problem. We'll now move on to the next one. Two trains A and B from Chennai and uh, start from Chennai and Trivandrum respectively. They travel towards each other at 50 km per hour, 60 km per hour. When they meet, train B had traveled 120 km per hour. This is key here. Then A. Find the distance between the two stations. Uh, friends, I have not done i'm not showing here the basic problems like uh, i travel 10 km in 2 hours what is my speed so the basic problems which involve just substitution of data are like uh, d is equal to speed into time i am not doing it here so i'm getting into the complex problems that you come across in any of these exams okay so let's start with our basic uh, assumptions let we have to find out the distance between the two stations right to do that first we need to understand the distance traveled by both the trains so when they meet so let's say distance traveled by train a equal to x and distance traveled by train b is equal to this is key here we know that train b had traveled 120 kilometers more than 
train A. So what does that mean? When they meet, they would have traveled, train B would have traveled 120 plus X. The distance traveled by A. Okay. Now, let's try to understand the problem now. Train A started from Chennai and it started moving towards a point. Train B started from Trivandrum and started moving towards Chennai. They meet at a point, let's call it as X. During that time, A had traveled X and B had traveled 120 plus X. And what is key here is, the whole distance 120 plus x plus x will actually give the total distance between the stations right now since time is constant here why is time constant because they start at the same time and they meet at a point so since time is a constant here all that we have to do here is distance traveled by a x by the speed at which it travel 50 is equal to distance traveled by B 120 plus X by what is the speed 60 these two quantities are same why because if we say it is T1 and this is T2 they start at the same point and meet at the same time same they start at the same time meet at the same time so T1 is actually equal to T2 here so these two values are same so if you now that's it once you arrive at this equation, it is very simple. All that we have to do is, it is 60x is equal to 50x plus 120 into 50 is equal to 66,000. Which would mean 10x is equal to 6,000 and x is equal to 600. And what is x? x is distance traveled by A and what are we supposed to find out? We are supposed to find out the distance between the two stations. So it's pretty simple. The answer is 600 plus 600 plus 120. That's the answer. Okay, now let me move on to uh, the next question. Ratio between the speeds of A and B is 2 is to 3. A takes 10 minutes more than B to reach a destination. If A had traveled at double the speed, how long will it take for A to cover the distance? Okay, we are going to apply in this case our uh, proportionality concept. So, ratio of the speeds is given as 2 is to 3. So, speed is inversely proportional to time. So, what will be the ratio of the time in that case? As simple as that. You just need to inverse it. Now, let time taken by B be X. And A, B x plus 10 because a takes 10 minutes more than b fine so what do we do now it's very simple now we all that we have to do is x plus 10 by x is equal to 3 by 2 the ratio of the time x plus 10 by x is equal to 3 by 2 x plus 10 by x is equal to 3 by 2 a is to b that's it you solve it you get x is equal to 20. So time taken by b equal to 20 and a is equal to 30 minutes. And what is the question? If when a doubles the speed, the distance will be covered in 15 minutes, which is half of this one, if a doubles it. Thank you.